Hello everyone, myself Dr. Preeti Mangesh Deshmukh, Director of Pranav Ayurved Panchakarma Clinic, Pune. Today I am going to discuss with you with the ever-developing gynecological problem that is PCOD. Now let's know what is PCOD. PCOD is polycystic ovarian disease in which ovaries grow larger in size and appears as clusters and appearance is like grapes. Now let us discuss about what are the causes of PCOD. The exact cause of PCOD is not yet known but there are contributing factors like heredity, eating more of junk food, high insulin resistance or high levels of insulin, weight gain or obesity, more of androgenic or male hormones in your body. Now further let's discuss about the symptoms which we see in PCOD. Now generally there are two major variations that is uh, the polycystic ovarian disease and the PCOS that is the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Particularly when there is weight gain, irregular menses and hirsutism, we call it as polycystic ovarian disease and when there are associated symptoms like depression, hair fall, mood swings, tanning of skin, acne, we term it as polycystic ovarian syndrome. According to American Society of Reproduction, it is defined that we diagnose as PCOD when the female has irregular menses, it shows PCOD on sonography and hirsutism. Further, we will see about the treatment of PCOD. Now, as per Ayurveda, if it is considered as a lifestyle disorder, we have to give a holistic approach. That is, first we have to correct the dietary pattern and the lifestyle pattern of the patient. So it has an again an individualistic approach according to the causes what the patient has undergone to develop that particular disease. First, I generally suggest is exercise on a regular basis. So running, jogging, skipping, cycling. These are the physical kind of exercises. Out of that, cycling is outdoor cycling and indoor cycling in the form of lying on your back and rotating your legs in a cyclical form. I can just say a slow cycling clockwise and anticlockwise which helps to regularize the ovarian hormones. Further there are five different kinds of best asanas which I suggest to my PCOD patients. First is Baddha Konasana, that is the butterfly pose. Second is the Supta Baddha Konasana, that is the reclining butterfly. Third is Ushtrasana, that is the camel pose. Fourth is the Shalbhasana, that is the locust pose. And fifth is Prasarit Padottasana, that is wide legged forward bend. Now all, in all these asanas, it creates a pull and stretch on your lower abdomen, which helps to regularize the ovarian hormones. And in that case, it helps to bring PCOD to a normal range.
let's see the second most important part that is the diet what you can have or what you can include in your daily schedule the first is all seasonal fruits like dark red grapes blueberries blackberries pomegranate all seasonal vegetables cauliflower broccoli spinach like dark green leafy vegetables spices turmeric cinnamon carom seeds vitamin b6 rich foods like banana chicken oats soya bean calcium rich foods like milk and milk products almonds walnut spinach Mal magnesium rich food like pumpkin almond dry roasted spinach cashews dry roasted guava papaya regular physical exercise as we like cycling jogging running skipping yoga that is surya namaskar and the five best asanas as told by me meditation om chanting and the self positive talk now let's see what are the don'ts you need to follow in your daily schedule and diet schedule if you don't want to develop pcod or you have developed pcod and you don't want to develop its symptoms more severe further more of sour pungent salty food items pickle papad bakery products like toast curry bread biscuit more of junk food that is pani puri pav bhaji pizza burger i just remember a case uh, of a college going girl who approached me with pcod when i had a detailed history of her she told me that i used to carry tiffin from home but i used to eat in canteen pizza burger and soft drinks on regular basis so these don'ts if are continued for a long term basis they are surely going to hamper your reproductive health more of don'ts are sabudana fermented foods like idli dosa uttappa dhokla bhel poha more of stale food more of soft drinks wearing wet undergarments and clothes controlling of natural urges like urine motions and hunger late night sleeping over intake of sweets fasting untimely meals anger mental stress more of negative thoughts out of these i have found junk food more of mental stress and late night sleeping to be the major causes in patients approach to me till now now the third part of treatment as per ayurveda is medicines and panchakarma treatment it has an individualistic approach depending on the constitution the causes which have developed the disease and the age of the patient so for more details feel free to approach us till then stay healthy stay positive